Hello and welcome to yet another video. You join us once more in the Hornby Magazine Workshop and today we have something very special. Yes. It's the Backman 2020 range launch. That's right, so yeah, uh, Backman announced a, a new list of products on uh, February the 4th. Uh, it did launch the trade on February the 4th and they followed that with a, uh, an event for its Collector Club members as well on February the 5th. Uh, and the Hornby Magazine team went, we went across and joined the Collector Club members on that day to go and find out what Backman's doing next. So a, a few of you might already know that Batman's had a bit of a change of tack of how it's going to deliver its new announcements for 2020. Uh, and part of that started off with their new combined volume. Um, so this is a, a combination catalogue of their double uh, O gauge Batman branch line range, their narrow gauge double O nine range, uh, the Graham Farish um, N gauge range. I believe it's also got some of the, the buses and it's also got the Syncraft buildings in here as well. Um, so it's a really nice big heavyweight catalogue. But the difference with this to what you previously expect from a Batman catalogue is there's actually nothing new in this catalogue. Um, so what Batman's doing is they've gone to doing a quarterly release. Uh, so on February the 4th they announced some additions to go with this as well. Um, and then they're going to do another event in May for another range of announcements and then there'll be another event later in the year as well. Uh, so a staged process of releasing what they're going to do when. Um, I think as a hobbyist it's disappointing, however I think with um, what's happened it's a good idea, definitely makes yeah, sense. Yeah, I think with, with, with Backman, because they've got so many projects outstanding, I think they've, they've kind of understood that they need to shorten the, the timescale from announcement to delivery. Um, I think that's what they're aiming to do with this change attack and how they're doing things now. Um, so, for example, in this um, list that we're going to talk about now, there are no new tooling announcements, we'll tell you that straight up. Um, it is re-releases of existing tooling, um, but there's also quite an interesting list of uh, product delivery timescales as well to talk through as well. Um, and some new projects, products from um, Woodland Scenics and Prozis as well. Um, and we can talk about some of the new samples we saw at the... Um, the Open Day. The Open Day as well. Yeah. yeah. So plenty to talk about, and all relevant to Batman and 2020 and a little bit beyond. So. Right. Okay, so let's get going. Let's get going. Right, so in this section, we're going to go through all the new items arriving in spring 2020. That's right, yeah. So we've got a collection of double O gauge locomotives, carriages, wagons, and buildings as well. Uh, so starting the list off with the locomotives, we've got uh, C Class as 1573 in Southern Railway Line Black livery. Um, they actually had a sample of that on display, which got really nice fine green lining around the tender and the, and the locomotive. Uh, and that's, uh, like I said, all these are due in the next three months. Um, the price on that one that's shown on our list is £199.95. Uh, which is, is quite a high price on the C-Class. Well, so there's a query on that one, isn't there? Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure that <coughs> price is correct on the list, but that's what's on my list. But check with your retailers, they'll be able to give you an up-to-date price on that. So next on the list, um, we've got a, a more modern locomotive. We've got um, a Class 37.7 and a 37.800 Cassiopeia in Euro Phoenix livery. Uh, and that's been released both uh, DCC ready and uh, DCC sound fitted as well from the factory. Uh, we've got the price on those of one seven nine ninety five for the DCC ready version and two six nine ninety five for the DCC sound fitted model. So something a bit more modern there. So the more modern. It's there. very nice. I have the first yeah. one. Yeah, they, it yeah. is actually quite a stunning livery to be honest. We have one again. They had one on display. We'll show you that in a picture on the screen in a moment. Um, it is a stunning livery. Very well done. So um, yeah. So that, that completes the locomotives in this round of releases. Um, next, we've got a set of Southern South Eastern and Chatham Railway Dark Lake birdcage coaches. Uh, now, this is a second set to follow on from the first lot they did, so they've got different running numbers on these. Uh, and Backman pointed out as well that the um, the brake coaches on these, they won't have the battery boxes, which they tell us is correct for how these sets were <coughs> in their early period. So it only has the battery boxes on the centre composite car. Um, the outer brakes don't have those. Um, they're coming in at £84.95 each for those. That sounds a lot, but of course we've only got the full RRPs to go on, whereas right. your yeah. dealers will have, um, I think it's 15% off. Yeah, I think it's, yeah, they they can a standard. 15% off as a standard yeah. uh, in, the, in the first six weeks or so, I think it is. Uh, but yeah, there, there will be dealer discounts on these, these prices. So, so. so don't wince too much. Um, okay, so next um, we'll move on to wagons. Um, they're bringing back the bulk grain hopper uh, and they're doing that with three weathered versions. They're doing one in BR Freight Brown, uh, one in grain flow, grain flow Green 
uh, and one in BRT Blue. Uh, they're coming in at, uh, well, this price is ranging from 31.95 to 34.95, depending on the uh, decoration on those. So, um, like I say, all weathered using existing tooling, it's already been in the back of the range for a few years there, but a, a nice wagon nonetheless. Um, <coughs> next, we've got a pair of uh, towed brake vans as well. Uh, they're doing a GWR grey one. Uh, and a BR grey one in early grey with weather to finish on it as well. Uh, they're priced at £20.95 and £22.95 respectively. Right, so next after the wagons, we've got a, a collection of buildings as well. Um, Backman is bringing back the Bluebell Railway Station collection. So they're bringing back the booking office, uh, the station canopy, the waiting room and toilet, and the office and storeroom as well. Um, and actually this time, they're doing them both uh, crimson cream and uh, southern region green as well. Um, so two choices in terms of being with those as well. So they didn't use those on 12 Trees Junction? Uh, yes, I did. I painstakingly repainted an entire set of uh, Bluebell Railway buildings from the Crimson livery, from the original batch that first came out a few years ago, into green to suit the 1960s <laughs> period of 12 Trees Junction, yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, now, they have also told me there are quite a few improvements on these as well, so new and improved mouldings for, for each of these items. Um, and one of the big changes is the, um, the little canopy, which was originally made out of, well, out of resin. They've changed that to use injection moulder parts as well to so be able to get a bit they've got a bit of finer detail into the uh, sports of the canopy and things as well so there are improvements to these buildings they're not just literally a rerun of, of what was done before so. I like these sort of little sets I have the uh, Great Central one they did last yes it's actually a really nice little sort of set yeah, of yeah I mean, the other thing about them as well is these are genuinely hand painted yeah you know, <coughs> Every single part of them is hand painted by a human being, um, you know, so you can see where the, the money goes in these in terms of making them and, and, and building them. Um, so in the prices, they start from I think it's fifty seven ninety five for the canopy, uh, and they rise up to ninety nine pound ninety five for the booking office, which is the biggest part of the set. Nice. Okay, and then there's one other new addition, and that's a little corrugated metal shed, uh, another little useful building, nice cheap one as well, £10.95. Um, like, like the uh, Bluebell Railway stuff, that's fully made, presented, and finished, ready to just drop any layout where you want it. Wonderful. And I suppose that ends the um, new items as such. Yes, that completes that the new items announced. for now, that's right, yeah. So, um, like we said at the beginning of the video, this isn't the end of what Backman's going to announce during 2020. <coughs> so the next array announcements are going to come in May. Um, and that's when they've got the next event. Um, what they're going to announce then, we still don't know. So stay tuned and we'll, we'll, we'll let you know what that is when we can. Almost you. keeps it more exciting that way, I think. That's right, yeah, well, they're, they're keeping, it, keeping it fresh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Right, okay. let's get on to the next section. Yes. Right, so in this next section, we're going to talk about their previously announced items that now finally have a release date. Yes. And uh, in this mix, I should say, we've got both gauges now, double O and N. That's right, and Seamcraft Buildings as well. And Seamcraft so, yeah. Buildings, yeah. So, there's actually quite a lot of new product that's now due in from Batman, and these are all, they've been given scheduled release dates, so we'll, we'll go through those and keep you up to date with those. So, so they are coming. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Quite a few of these are actually already on the way, um, and other ones we've got release dates for as well, so we can share those. So on with the show. Yeah. Um, so top of the list, we've got a pair of um, Great Western Railway Duke Dog 440s. Uh, they're doing 9018 in BR Black with early crests on it. Um, and that's coming in at £159.95. And they're also doing um, 3206 Earl of Plymouth uh, in GWR Green with uh, shirt button logos. Uh, and this one is 259.95. And that's because this one's got digital sound. It's the first time they've done the Duke Dog with, with factory sound. Um, those are both already shipping and on their way to the UK. So next on the list is uh, another of their really rather nice D11 440s. Uh, they're doing that at a 62667 SOM in BR line black. Uh, that's for £179.95. And they're also doing, um, it is in Great Central Railway line green, which is a beautiful livery actually, uh, as 502 Zitbrugger. Uh, and again, that one's coming at 279.95 and that's got factory fit and sound for it as well. Um, and like the Duke Dogs, that is now on its way to the UK and is due to be released in, in February. Um, okay, so next we've got the, the Class 159s, we can see in another video on the Home Magazine YouTube channel. Um, both the uh, DCC Ready and the DCC Soundfitter versions of those are on the way, and they're due to be released in March. Um, coming in at 339.95 for the DCC Ready version and 429.95 for the DCC Soundfitter model. That is a really nice model. It is a beautiful model, yeah. yeah. So they've got some really nice features in that. Check out the video, check out our review as well in the latest issue of the magazine, which goes into a lot more detail about how that works and what it does. 
Yeah, pretty clever piece of kit. Um, next on the list, we've got uh, the Class 85 is coming back in BR Electric Blue as E3057. Uh, that's coming in at £189.95, and that is due to be released, be released in April. Um, the Class 24 ones, uh, the first one of those arrived at the back end of December last year. Uh, we've got a full review of that in the March date issue, which is on sale now. Um, the follow-ups to that, the BR Green with small yellow warning panels and the BR Blue versions are both due to arrive during March. Uh, they're coming in at uh, 159.95 for those. Um, next on the list after that, um, an exciting one actually, but I think I can't be the only one that's looking forward to these. Uh, Backman's Class 117 DMU is, is finally going to be here. Uh, it's due to arrive in April this year. Uh, and that's coming out. The first versions to arrive in April will be the BR Green version with speed whiskers and the BR Blue and Grey set. Um, and they're coming in at £314.95 per unit there. I really want one for my heritage line. Yes. Yeah, they, yeah. they do look like they're going to be really quite stunning. I mean, we, we, we saw one of these last September at the Beckman Media event then and had a little much closer look at it. And again, it's like the 159. It's got the low-level drive system into it as well. Um, single decoders to power the full train, speakers in both driving cars really really nicely done product uh, so looking forward to actually getting my hands on one directly and get it on the layout here and, and put it through its paces so. okay and then uh, joining that is uh, the first version of their class one two one single car dmu as well and uh, the first version of that that's going to arrive is going to be in br green with speed whiskers to match the, the 117 there uh, so a nice collection of pressed steel vehicles coming there uh, and again there's, there's lots more of the 117s and the 121s to come in, in months to follow so Okay, so completing the double O gauge rolling stock list is a pair of BR12 ton vent vans. Uh, these are both fruit vans and they've been done in early bauxite and late bauxite liveries. And they're coming at twenty two ninety five and twenty five ninety five. That's right. That's, that's and what the difference in prices? I don't know. That's that's what's on the list here. So that, that's again, we'll double check some of these prices. And we're, one of the things I should mention as well is, as well as it being in this video on YouTube, we will have uh, content written down on the Hornby Magazine website as well that you can read, and there'll also be more about this in the next issue of Hornby Magazine as well. Yeah. So, yeah. That's as things come clearer. Yes, that's right, yeah. yeah. Right, shall we move on to the N-Gage stuff? Yes, let's go to N-Gage. Yeah, down a size. Uh, okay, so um, top of the list there is a pair of Class 70s. Uh, these are both with the air intake modification, so a slight new tooling variant on the Class 70 for N-Gage. Uh, they're doing 70.015 in Freightliner Green, and they're doing 70.805 in colourless black and orange. And they'll be 159.95, um, which is... Expected. Yep, yep, standard price for those, and I believe they've still got six pin decoder sockets on those, but I stand to be corrected on that. Mm. Okay, next on the list we've got um, a BR 3MT 262 tank, it's 82020, uh, and that's going to be in BR green with late crests. Uh, a bit of a reintroduction for that one, because that one's not been in the Graham Farish range for a little while now. Um, nice little tankage though, a useful loco for middle length and short trains. Not too badly priced, 124.95 here as well, so. Right, yeah. yep. so, okay, so next, uh, these are new tooling items which have been highly anticipated actually. We've got the uh, LNER Thompson coaches starting to arrive. Uh, we've got the, the first two vehicles that are going to be available will be the first corridor and the corridor composite. Uh, they're going to be available in both LNER Teak Effect uh, and BR Crimson and Cream colours as well. Now, the Teak Effect on these, them being steel bodied coaches, um, well, still panelled coaches because they actually had wooden framework. Um, the teak effect was what's called scumbling on them, um, so it was a, a, a faux teak effect that they created on on the real coaches, which Backman's now gone to recreate in Engage. So, so I'll be really looking forward to seeing those as well with their final decoration on them. And I suppose all the uh, uh, teaks are forty one ninety five on our price list. That's right. Yeah, <coughs> at the same price there. Um, yeah, and uh, again with those coaches, there are more versions on the way as well to complete that set of vehicles. Just we won't know until they are ready to come out. That's right, yes. Yeah. So I, I would expect we'll see those on the next list of products uh, for release. Yeah. Okay, uh, so next, uh, completing the N gauge rolling stock lineup, we've got a trio of Great Western Toad brake vans. Uh, they're doing one in Great Western Grey, one in BR Grey uh, for, for the early BR period, and one in BR Bauxite, again for the early period as well. And they'll all be 25.99? Yeah, that's right, yeah, 25.95, yeah. 95, sorry. Yeah. Okay, so the rest of the buildings we're going to talk about in this section, they're all double O gauge items, uh, so we'll rattle through these. Uh, so we've got a low relief Honeystone Smithy, a low relief corner pub called the Red Lion, uh, a low relief terrace house with pebble dash finish, uh, a bell tent, we've got straight platform sections, low relief retaining walls, low relief Honeystone Cottage, two domestic industrial tanks, um, narrow gauge slate loads to go with their 009 uh, slate wagons, and a concrete bus shelter as well. 
And all those range from 1395 to 3995. Yeah, so it's quite a nice price range there. Yeah. Can, suits different pockets and different items. So. Yeah. Okay, so that completes then the previously announced items which are now coming in the next three months. So look out for those at your local retailer. They're all, as I understand, available to pre-order from retailers as well. Um, and keep an eye out for those arriving. Right, so now we're going to cover some of the items which aren't coming in the next three months. However, we got a sneak peek at the open day. That's right, yeah. So the Backman had a number of samples of the other projects they're working on. Uh, so the things you might have already seen if you've been to the Wally Show, you'd have seen them on their stand there. Uh, we'll start with the with the Midland 1F044 tank. Um, they had a, a revised set of samples of those on display which showed uh, the wind with the correct chimneys on the correct locos. Um, it's really quite an interesting logo this one actually, they've got a lot of different variants they can cover with it. Uh, they're talking to us about saying they've got something like 28 different versions they can put together uh, from the tubing suite they created for the 1P. Um, so it's things like they've got different fireboxes for them, different chimneys, they've done them with condensing apparatus and without condensing apparatus. Uh, so lots of options for what they can do with those logos. Didn't the ones at Worley have the wrong chimneys on them? Uh, yeah, that's, well, that's the wrong way around. They, they've got the wrong was. chimneys, <coughs> the wrong loco. So they, they've got the right collection of chimneys, just not with the right. Loco. Yeah. <laughs> so, so they corrected that on this set of samples. Um, we'll, they'll, we'll have some pictures of those as well. Um, and uh, they're currently they're expecting those to be available this autumn. Um, and joining them this autumn will be the Great Western 94XX 060 Pannier Tank as well. Uh, another eagerly awaited product there from Batman. Uh, and both of these, I should mention as well, they both have next 18 decoder sockets and also have factory fitted speakers as well. So, so nicely presented locos there. Okay, so uh, next on the list they had a, a sample of the V2. Um, again, another really sort of Batman hallmark model. The V2 has been part of the Batman range for, for a long, long time. Um, but the, the one they're working on now is a, a brand new product from the ground up. Uh, again, like I say, they had an updated sample of that on display with the latest, latest modifications. So I'm guessing you'll be getting Green Arrow. But I should definitely get Green Arrow. Seen as you fired it. I did fire it once, yeah, <laughs> very lucky to do that. So. Now you can own the model. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So, well, I haven't got a green one, I've got a black one, but I haven't got a green one, so <laughs> need one of those. <laughs> so, um, okay, and then also in double O gauge, they had a sample of uh, 10,001 on display as well. Uh, they're doing a new version of the uh, LMS prototype diesel, um, which they're explaining has got different grills on the side, uh, which differentiates it from previous versions that have done that loco. Um, so that's coming, I believe, with a raw Scott headboard in the box as well, and with uh, head coat discs, so that should be a really nice product, nice premium loco there. Also in double O gauge, they had a sample of the two HAP EMU as well on display. Uh, they had the Network Southeast one there, and they told us that one that unit is now expected during this summer. Um, again, the firm release date for that, like the other logos we just talked about, will be given at the next of the uh, the Backman announcement schedule. So um, each of the next events will give us a clearer picture on when these are actually definitely going to arrive. So um, any dates we're talking about here are, are broad brush, you know, we're expected, you know, in a larger window. So. Uh, and the V2 they mentioned that is due, they're expecting in in 2021. So. Okay. Um, next, we go on to a couple of N-gauge locos. They had uh, an updated sample of the Class 319 uh, with a new front end to it as well, and they also revised the pantograph on it as well, so a few modifications to the, the engineering work on that. Uh, and joining that on display as well was a, a first sample of the Class 450 four-car unit in N-gauge as well. Uh, and that's a follow-up to their Class 350 unit they did for N-gauge. Um, neither of those have currently got a scheduled release date at this point, though, so that's all we can see on those for the time being. I'm looking forward to the 319, actually, because yes. I've recently been to Allerton, Yes, um, say, you just been to see the real thing. Yeah, the home of. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it'd be nice to see what they do in model form. That's right, yeah. yeah. That's, uh, and also on display, they also had the Class 20 Stroke 3 sample on display, as well as the Buffy car from the 4BP unit as well. Um, and we're looking forward to seeing more progress with both of those products in due course. Uh, oh, and another one we should mention in Engage as well, they had an updated sample of the Parrot bogey flat wagon as well. Uh, but they told us they corrected the ride height on that to reduce the gap between the bogey and the platform on that. So. Oh. So lots of things moving forward on the development side. Yeah, so it's still definitely ticking away at Batman. Yeah, it's just, yeah, yeah. Um, they're just reining it in a bit. <coughs> yeah, reining it in terms of announcements, and they're giving us a clearer picture on when things are actually going to be delivered as well. So I think that's, that's important. You know. Like I say, a minute ago, these items we're talking about now, they're further in the future. 
we've got a broad kind of indication of summer, autumn or 2021, yeah. but next time we have an announcement from Batman, we'll have a clear picture on some of those things as to when they're actually definitely going to arrive. So. Okay, so that concludes that section. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Poor Richard, he's feeling poorly. So next we're going to move on to the Wooden Scenics range. Now, a lot of people won't know that in Batman's portfolio, um, they do actually distribute Wooden Scenics. That's right, yeah, the UK yep. distribute for Wooden Scenics and quite a few other ranges as well. I mean, they do lots of plastic kit products as well. Uh, they also distribute uh, Pocket Bond Classics vehicle ranges uh, and they also the only EFE as well. So they've got the 176 scale model buses there as well. Um, we're going to talk about Wooden Scenics specifically now because they've got some quite nice new products coming up this year. Um, with my scenic head on, I got quite excited about some of these actually. Um, they're doing a, a new range of peel and place tufts, um, which are basically static grass based products which are ready made, which you can, as they say, peel off and place. Um, so it, it really simplifies putting some detail into your scenery. Um, they're doing lots of different packs. They're doing uh, light green tufts, medium green tufts, violet flowering tufts, yellow flowering tufts. Uh, they're doing some taller ones as well. Uh, and ones actually I, I really like when we saw them in sample. They're doing what they call brown tipped prairie grass, uh, which are about almost like 15 mil long grasses, which has looked really good planted along the side of a riverbed. Um, so as I've got a riverbed to detail up, um, yep. I'm hoping those products can be available fairly soon. We can start using some of them on uh, top of the I'll start showing how you could actually use some of these products as well. But, uh, um, I haven't got a firm release date on these at this point. Um, I know they're coming this year, uh, but I don't exactly when. Uh, but also joining them is a new range of fencing as well. Um, Again, fencing might not seem like the most exciting of announcements, but actually, having seen these things in the fe in the flesh, these fences are really, really nicely done. Um, you say that I had to explain to the other half uh, last night why I was getting excited about fences. <laughs> <laughs> They're very exciting things. <coughs> and, yeah, it's different types. I mean, we've had lots of fence products available for model railways for years, um, but seeing these in the flesh on the little dioramas that uh, Backman had made to display them they just showed just how good you can make a fence look yeah. apart the scene. Um, and again I can see some replacement of fencing going off on, on top of there once these are available so, uh, so they're doing barbed wire, they're doing log fence, they're doing rail fence, they're doing chain link fence, picket fence and privacy fence uh, and actually impressively I didn't realise this until just now they're actually doing in three scales as well so they're doing yeah. an N gauge, HO scale which will be just as good for double O gauge and they're also doing an O gauge as well so Again, really good for multi-scale applications there. Um, again, keep your eyes peeled. As soon as we can get our hands on some of those, we will. So yeah, we're we'll be using about, those. Yeah, we're excited about fencing. <laughs> so. Also joining the Wooden Scenics range is a collection called the Utility System, uh, and this is all modelling telegraph poles. Uh, and these, uh, as far as I understand, are pre-wired as well. Um, so not just telegraph poles, telegraph poles with wires on where you just stretch them out to fit. Um, according to what they've told us, so we've only seen these on paper so far, I've actually seen the physical product, um, but they're, they're to be made to be easy to install um, and you get a choice of either single crossbar or double crossbar um, pre-wired telegraph bolts or you can get a transformer connecting set as well. Um, what I like about these is they're hand painted and weathered. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so this is a, a yeah, literally a ready to go job. It's, uh, yeah, so I'm, I, another exciting product actually. Just plonk on the layout and yeah, go. Yeah. And it's one of those things. That I think Wooden Thing has got really quite good at this about creating products which allow you to add detail to the layout with a minimum of fuss. Yeah. Um, I've always liked that about the Wooden Scenics range. Becomes a very rewarding product that way, I think. Yes, that's right, yeah. yeah. So again, like the fencing, it's available in double O, HO and O scales as well. Uh, and like I said about the fencing, HO scale, telegraph poles will be perfectly suitable for double O gauge layouts as well, so they're not going to look out of place. Okay, so there's one other product to mention from Woodland Scenics, and that's a new Union Jack flagpole that's coming. Um, and that's coming in their Just Plug range of lighting products. Uh, and the reason for that is it actually comes with a, a ground mounted spotlight which you can fit into the ground of your layout so it angles up to highlight the flag. Oh, um, <laughs> so again, a nice little product which will add a bit of character to, a, to any layout. So. Right, so next let's move on to Proses. Yes. One of uh, Batman's other um, That's ranges. Right, yeah, again, they're, they're a UK distributor for the Proses range. Yep. Uh, it's mainly model railway tools and equipment, and which they're basically creating items to make it easy for you to build a model railway. Um, so things like ballast spreaders, um, choppers, 
um, equipment like that. Um, they've made some quite nice supports for working on models as well. I'll say there's got one that turns over a loco. I like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's clever stuff. Um, and the guy who designs all these things, he's got some really quite novel um, <laughs> buildings that he's currently working on for the process range, uh, which have got operational doors. Ah. Um, so there's, there's two buildings he's been working on. He's got a warehouse, which has got um, a pair of double opening doors on one side and a single door on the other side. Um, which at the flick of a switch the, a motor turns to open the doors <laughs> it's really quite clever um, and then he's also got another building which I think uh, I think all the home magazine team here is going to be itching to get their hands on a, one of these this is a, a diesel locomotive depot with a roller door that works wow um, so the roller door literally rolls up around onto a drum at the top and it can be raised and lowered um, to, to open the shed for a loco to come out um, again it's got switches to control that movement um, and uh, it's got our brains ticking about how we can make use mm -hmm. of that in the future so do we have any details on price yet um, i don't have any pricing details at the moment um, but keep your eyes peeled on either on the magazine website or the magazine as soon as we've got more information on these we'll make sure that's that's available as well because so. there'll be a layout with it on soon yes yeah well we hope so yeah that's uh, we're, like say, we're, we're itching to get our hands on one of those already just to you know, having had five minutes playing with these things you know the doors went up and down a lot of times also there <laughs> <laughs> testing the mechanism <laughs> making sure it works <laughs> yeah absolutely so, so yeah so good things coming from process as well so that concludes the backman announcements for this quarter uh, we hope you've enjoyed this video from Hornby Magazine and if you would liked it then please do click the subscribe button because there's lots more videos to come and don't forget if you have any feedback or thoughts on the range leave us a comment down below and we'll have a look through them thank you for watching thank you very much take care